Welcome to ARW. I'm Harold and uh, I was working on a project for this week which I procrastinated some on and, and didn't do anything on for a couple of days watching YouTube videos and such and uh, <laughs> the boss lady come along with another job so this is going to be to today's video. Seems like Daisy who's our uh, main dog around here the only dog thankfully and uh, she's she's getting old and she's big and fat she's about 120 pounds of dog and we used to put her in the back seat of the truck when we take her to the vet but the last time around she couldn't get in there she just couldn't jump up she was too heavy and too old and I had to pick up the rear end of her and the boss lady helped me and shove her up there in the seat so the boss lady said make some steps now, I, I, between you and me, I don't think she's going to use the steps because I'd made her a little, a little platform to stand on that would have made her tall enough to get up there, and she refused to go near it. But the boss lady wanted it, and we're going to make it. So we're going to make some little stair steps so Daisy can get up in the truck. She might use them. She goes up and down stairs, so we'll find out. All right, so let's get on it. Well, there's my material for the project two foot by four foot piece of plywood. I need to make stairs that are about 26 inches tall and I guess they'll stick out maybe close to two foot and uh, I think Daisy can climb up that just fine. So I might as well get started laying it out. You guys take a nap while I try to draw some stuff on this wood. We're going to mangle this sheet of plywood is what we're going to do. All right, I don't know if you guys can see the the pencil marks there or not, but they're nice straight pencil marks. When I get through cutting it, they won't be all that straight. But that ought to be both sides of the uh, steps. This is one side here. That's the top of it. This one side here. That's the top of that side. And I hope they'll be sort of able to fit together. Got the extra stuff left over there to make a couple steps out of it. Although I need more than that, I'm sure, but we'll make it, all right? I'm gonna get the saw and start to mangling this thing up. All right, I've got that straight edge clamp to the to the board and the, the plywood is clamped to my work table. So maybe it's not gonna fall apart and maybe by some miracle I might cut straight. I'm not betting on it. Crooked. I knew it. I never made a straight cut yet. Sure hope I do better than that when I get to the... <laughs> get to the rest of it. I'll straighten that up if I can. Y'all take a nap. Well, it's a little U-shaped in the middle, but it's not as far off as it was. <laughs> All right, let's continue to mangle. Well, if Daisy accepts using it, she won't care how straight it is. The boss lady might care. There won't be any close-ups, but at least it's, it'll be sort of in the right shape. I get me a little drill and drill the corners so I can turn my drill, um, so I can turn my saw. Get your tang tongue sometimes, you know. Well, for, for some reason it doesn't match up terribly good on some of the edges there, so I'm going to have to go back with a pencil and mark them and recut some spots here and there. They'll wind up even anyway, eventually, I hope, I don't know, 
always six and one half a dozen the other. This is why I don't do carpentry work. All right, the edges sort of match now. One of my viewers one time told me he, when he watched me doing carpentry work, he always got a really good laugh. And I thought about that. Thought, well, at least he did get something out of the video. I guess you could say I've got up to sort of framing it out there. And I'll have cut some steps to go on it. And then we'll see if it looks like it wants to stay together. I didn't actually buy any screws. I'm hoping I've got enough to finish this up. I'm using all kinds of different sizes. And all of this wood and all of these screws have been used two or three different times before. So at least I'm getting my money's worth out of it. Still making progress. Looks like we're going to answer the phone. Like they say, this wood and the screws have been used in two or three other projects. The piece the drill is sitting on there, those came from a backyard gate that I replaced with a, a chain link gate. Uh, a lot of the small two bys there, they were part of the uh, lift table I made so that I could install a built in oven. You know, I had to pick it up to the right height for the cabinets. Um, and the stuff's been used for other things as well. So, I think I'm getting my money's worth out of the lumber. I had built the dog a little table with this same wood and same screws. It's about a foot tall that she can step up on that and then step on into the truck. So she could have made that. But the dog wouldn't get on the table at all. She just she used to go near it. And uh, I don't think she'll use this either. So it's new and it's different and she don't like changes. But I can take it apart and use the wood for something else. And the screws. Few of the screws will probably get ruined, you know, strip the, strip the heads or something. But for the most part, I still have them. All right. It's finished as far as I'm concerned. I'm going to paint it, I can tell you that. Let's see how strong it is. If it'll hold up a fat old man, it'll hold up a less fat old dog. steps aren't as deep as uh, the stairs in the house but I think she'll get the idea and I, I guess I'll try to see if she'll get in the truck no I'm not going to have video of that though well we just took Daisy for a ride in the truck and it took a little coaxing to get her to use the steps but with me pulling on the front of her harness well kind of lifting her up a little bit while she finally decided to go on up the steps and get in the truck. Coming out, I don't need to use the steps. She can jump down on the ground. They don't they don't go far enough up against the seat to make her happy. So coming out I'll just let her jump down on the ground. But they're light I can throw in the back of the truck weighs about 20, 25 pounds. And I can take her to the vet or wherever and be able to get her back out. And in. Alright folks, before we go off to see what Bubba's doing, I want to remind you this Sunday, 3 p.m. Central Daylight Time, that's Houston time, uh, we'll have the discussion, so we'll have some, some interesting people there, don't know exactly who will be there, but whoever it is, they'll be interesting. So you guys show up and watch uh, the ARW discussion uh, this weekend. I'll put up a, a notice to probably Friday, reminds you just in case you forget. All right, let's go see about Bubba. After having dug down 10 feet last year, you 
since I'm working outside of New York City, the New York scientists found traces of copper cable dating back 100 years. So they came to the conclusion their ancestors already had a telephone network more than 100 years ago. Now, not to be outdone with the New Yorkers, the California archaeologists got busy. They dug down 20 feet deep somewhere outside of Oceanside, and they found a piece of copper cable in the ground. And they determined from that that their ancestors had uh, communica sophisticated communications a hundred years earlier than the New Yorkers. So now you know Boudreaux, he's not going to sit still with this stuff. About a week later, uh, local uh, Louisiana, Baton Rouge, Louisiana newspaper reported that uh, Boudreaux had gone out in his pasture and dug down 30 feet, and he found absolutely nothing. So Boudreaux, the archaeologist, he went to his buddy Thibodeau and they consulted on it. And they came to the conclusion that 300 years ago, New, uh, Louisiana already had wireless. That's, that's the news.